Hello again, everybody. In this part, we're going to talk about image reflections, objects fit, object position in CSS and web page. So first of all, let's say here we have simple image that I got right here with the name of image.jpg. So we're going to use this just like this. The source is going to be this. And let's give this some width. I think 150 pixel is enough. Yes, this is good. Now let's come to our style and select our image. You know that in some designs, we have some reflection thing going on from our image or our devs that we can use the reflection by WebKit box reflect property. And you need to add one hyphen for WebKit right here then another hyphen followed by box and then we have this reflect going on. Now here the first parameter that you need to pass here is where you want your reflection to be. You want it to be above your element, below your element, left or right. For example let's say here we want our reflection to be below our element. Okay if I write that you see now we have this mirror thing going on right here. But maybe you don't want this to be this kind of sticky and no gap between this. So here you can give some spaces that you want these to separate. For example, if I give this 10 pixel right here, you see now here we have this 10 pixel going on right here. Of course, you can have this for right values. After this, you can have this for the left which because we are in this position in web page, this is not going to show. So we can have some margin of, let's say, 2 RAM right here. And now you can see we have this reflection right here. And of course, we can have this above thing that's going to reflect in the top of our element right here. Let's say we want our reflect to be below our element and here you see reflections don't display like this. They're usually in a gradient where it's come from full showing thing to transparency right here. So to add that effect to our reflection, we can use our gradients after these two parameters. Here, let's say, for example, I want my linear gradient right here. And here I need to specify the direction of my gradient that I want. For example, because we're in the below, I'm going to type bottom right here. After this, we are going to pass two colors to create our gradient. And for doing this in our reflections, the first one is going to be transparent Q. And for the second color, you need to choose the color that you want. For example, here, if I make this simple white, you see how my reflection is going to be applied with this linear gradient going on. And if I make this, for example, to the right, you see now if I change this to the right too, we are going to have this effect going here too. Another thing that we are going to talk about here is our object fit property. So here, let's clear this width right here. And here, if I give this a width of 200 pixels and after this, a height of 300 pixels, you see, this is going to show like this. But here, if I want the original aspect ratio right here, I can use object fit property here. That here we have contain mode, cover mode, fill, none, and scale down mode. First one is the contain mode, which the image keeps its aspect ratio, but resize sizes that we give to that. And if I use this, you see now we have this place here. If I give this simple border right here, one cell solid, you see that here we have some spaces below and above of our image to be empty but we have the original image that we want. After this we have this fill mode which is going to change the size of our image to fill all of the size that we given to our image. 
After this, we have this none mode, which is going to be just solid thing that what size is original image that's going to put this right here and don't change anything of image. And another thing after this, we have this scale down, which is going to change the scale of our image to be the smallest version of our width or height to match. And after this, we have this cover mode, which is going to change the sizes. And you see how it's going to be shown. But we want different place of our image to be shown. So to do that, here we're going to use object hyphen position property. And here in object position, we need to give values based on how we want our image and where of our image to be shown. For example, if I want this part of my image, I'm going to use my 80% right here for the width of my image. And pay attention that I can play with this and make this how I want based on my design. And maybe we want this to be 90%. Okay, we can do that. But because this is in cover mode and we have the height set it and be the all of the image, we can change that. And if I make this 100 pixel, for example, you see now here, this 90% is going to be applied to the width. And after this, we can have, for example, this 80% to be applied to the height of our image. And of course, we can play with this and make this how we want our image to be shown. And if I make this more little, you can see how difference is going to be shown here. For example, if here we change this from 60 to the 80%, you see we're coming down off our image. Please give a like and subscribe to catch next videos.